Para para pa pa. What's good, word guys? Matt here, country song teacher. I hope you're doing well. God's doing huge things in your life. If you like little bunnies in the forest, go ahead and smash that like button. We got the fire burning. That means it's time for a good lesson, guys. I get so many people that say, Matt, you taught me the first four chords. Man, I've learned so much. I still struggle with singing and playing the guitar together. Now, let me first say this, and this is not just a selfless plug. I always tell people, first of all, type in Matt McCoy, sing and play guitar. I've done probably six or seven lessons in the past about this topic, so I want to make sure you never know what's gonna, what I'm going to say today, what I've said in other videos, that that one thing might be the thing that took your eyes from 32, temp 32 degrees to 33 and makes you melt, that changes the state. I like an analogy. Um, so make sure you watch all those videos. Again, type in Matt McCoy, sing and play guitar. Today I want to talk about kind of just a few little exercises you can do that can kind of at least get your mind thinking the right way about singing and playing the guitar together. We're going to use the song, The River. You know the dream is like a river, ever changing as it flows, but the dream is just a vessel that must follow where it goes. So what I'm gonna do here, first I'm gonna break down that first part. A regular old D chord, third bottom string of the second fret, second string of the third fret. You know the dream is like a river, ever changing as it flows. So the first thing I want you to do is ask yourself, can I just sing that in that key? So for example, no guitar playing, can you just watch me and say, you know a dream is like a river, ever changing as it flows. Because a lot of times, people will tell me, Matt, I can't sing and play the guitar together. But what they're really, they don't even realize there's what they're saying, they're in the wrong key. For example, when you add this capo, you know a dream is like a river, every change and as it flows. See, I'm off key. I'm singing, so in, in, for example, this is in the key of D. You no know a dream is like a river, every change and as it flows. No a dream. So I'm gonna stay, for example, I'm gonna stay in that key, but add this capo. You know a dream is like a river. You know a dream is like a river. Never changing that flow. See how my just keys are on? So forget how I'm playing guitar or how I'm strumming. I'm just off. So it doesn't matter how your guitar playing skills, how your, your chord changes, all that kind of stuff. You might sound bad just because you're off key. So this would be a D chord raised up one full step. So it's a D, D sharp, E. Now we're in an E. No a dream is like a river, ever changing as it flows. So I just had to raise my voice the way I sing that a half a step. Dream is like a river, ever changing as it flows. But a dream is just a vessel that must follow where it goes. So I say all that to say, if you say you're having trouble singing and playing guitar together, make sure that you're at least in tune. So, because again, I see so many people when I used to teach in person, I'm like, your guitar skills are good enough and you're singing good enough, you're just not, they're not in sync together. So for example, no a dream is like a river. Just, if you can't hear it yourself yet, maybe get someone else to help you, just strum that D chord. It's called, it's called the root note, the first note of the song. And that's what key the song is. So it's in a, so if you're playing this D chord first, the song's in a D. You know a dream is like a river. So, for example, on this song, I want you to do one D, to stroke the D chord one time. You know a dream is like a river. Ever, then go to your G for change. Changing as it flows. Get back to D after it flows. So that'd be a good exercise to just work on that one part. You know a dream is like a river. Ever changing as it flows. Because you're just working on changing the chord at the right time and kind of getting that in sync. But a dream is just a vessel that must follow where it goes. And you've heard me say many times in the past when I'm doing videos, still to this day, I've been playing for, geez, 100 years now. Um, I, I still have a lot of things with the guitar that I struggle with, particularly kind of solos. And even when I'm learning, I still to this day, when I'm learning a song, I just do down strums so I can get just the kind of rhythm and flow of the song. You know a dream is like a rhythm. This is what I'll do. I'll take my thumb anytime I'm learning a song and I'll just softly, there's something about even by doing a chord soft, you can focus more on your singing. So remember that. When you're first learning a song, play the guitar part soft so you can sing louder and get it down. 
You know a dream is like a river, ever changing as it flows. But a dream is just a vessel that must follow where it goes. So I've said this in the past videos too, but make sure you are playing a song. If you're really trying to work on playing guitar and singing together, you have to make sure you're singing a song that you're very, very familiar with. If you're trying to get your singing and playing down good, and it's a song you don't really know, you're going to struggle. You don't know if it's the song you don't really know, is it the guitar, I don't know. So make sure you go down. She got the best. See how it's off key. She got the best. So when I'm playing that song, I'm very familiar with the song, obviously. Y'all hear me play it all the time. But, but mentally, I just want you to know, all I'm thinking about is I almost, I've got my eyes almost closed and I'm just singing that song. She got the best of me. She broke my heart now all the slip. That's all I'm doing mentally. So I've gotten where, I've gotten so used to doing two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I know with my guitar hand, I can be doing C for two, G for two, E minor for two, D for two the whole time. So once I can once I can put my guitar playing on autopilot, then it's easy to do the singing part. She got the best of me. She pulled my heart now on swiftly. It's me in this time. So you can tell, like, man, he can jam that song. He knows that when I can just sing it. So first of all, I would, I would ask you, can, are you very familiar with playing the guitar? Are you very familiar with singing the song? Because whatever song it's got to be, find that one song before you try to, like, master singing and playing the guitar together. So, so I would just, I guess, to paraphrase that, your homework is to find one song that you are very, very comfortable with knowing, A, how to change the chords, when to change the chords, the timing on each chord. Once you got that down, then you can add the challenging and the singing part. A song you hear me play all the time is, I'm going to be somebody, because it's a very easy one to play. All I'm doing is locking the two bottom strings on fifth and sixth. G, C, D, two. So G for two, C for two, D for four. I'm gonna be somebody. One of these days I'm gonna break this chain. I'm gonna be somebody someday. You might have bet your heart and all you. Great song to play out. Uh, you know, any of those chords. Take me home, country road, to a place I belong, West Virginia. Now, my mother, take me home. So, anytime that's just G, D, E minor, C, then G, D, C. If you, can, if you can find a song, uh, this is again, guys. I know it's it's a shameless plug. This is why I brag all the time about my four chord song books. I've changed hundreds, if not thousands, of lives with those books because those books have the first verse, the chorus, the second verse, the chorus, the ending. It's got the entire song, and it's got the chord exactly where it's supposed to change, and the lyrics there. So it's in it's in a format that you can't adjust it. A lot of times online, when you look a song up, the formatting of your computer something throws it off, and as a beginning guitarist, you think it sounds wrong, but it says here and you're so confused. You don't know whether to believe your ski or the computer, or your ear, or whatever. So with those song books, you can sit there and just do those down strums and sing along. In case you didn't know, 
baby, I'm crazy about you. I would be lying, dying if I say that I couldn't be in love without you. I hope some of those tips help you out. I always say walk before you crawl, guys. Walk before you crawl. Wait a second. Who's my editor? I just said I always said I said it wrong. Crawl before you walk, I meant to say. Jeez. Crawl before you walk. Uh, don't get too fancy too fast. I did it. We all do it. You want to be better than you are. Just take it slow. Crawl a little while. Just down strums. Get, find a song that you know you're super comfortable with and then slowly progress with the down. Down, down, up. Down, down, up. Down, down. Down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, 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 and you get more and more advanced as you go. Uh, so if you struggle with strumming, just type in Matt McCoy strumming. I've got thousands of free videos. Uh, not thousands, but like 50. So check that out. All right, guys, go to my website. If you want the song books or whatever, countrysongteacher.com, all one word, countrysongteacher.com. Obviously, the link's in the bio. Uh, Y'all support me so much, guys. We're about to hit 200,000 followers, uh, subscribers. That's insane. So I hope I've been a blessing in your life at half as much as you have mine. You give me in a crazy crazy good life, so I can't, think, can't say I think so enough. I love you, man. God loves you. Smash that like button. Let's go.